All right. Well, uh, good afternoon, Colorado Buffalo skiing fans. I'm Jason Clay with CUBuffs.com, and today we are joined by joined with uh, Alvar Olive of uh, the men's Nordic team. Alvar, how are you doing? Hey, I'm doing well. How are you, Jason? Long time no see. Yeah, long time no see. Uh, so Alvar is uh, back in Estonia for the summer. And uh, it's evening there. It's what, about 9 o'clock at night where you're at right now? Uh, yeah, it's uh, half past 9. Half past 9. Well, thank you for joining us. I uh, see the sun's still out. Yeah, sure. And, and, uh, yeah, pretty nice weather today. Usually it's raining. <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm glad you got some sun. T uh, real quick, tell us about your summer. What have you been up to and how's everything going for you? Uh, yeah, I got back from uh, Boulder beginning of June, so I've been training pretty hard, uh, just enjoying summer and watching World Cup in soccer. So, <laughs> so not not much, but basically training for NCAs, of course. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I hear you just had a couple of visitors that you had uh, Petter Reistad out and uh, Sandre Bolum to to visit you in your in your country. Yeah, that's true. Sandre is actually still here, and uh, we'll have a team sprint like training race tomorrow so he's racing with Estonian skiers so it's gonna be fun I guess <laughs> <laughs> well Petter just asked why isn't it raining uh, I don't know he was here he was like one day was pretty good uh, back then as well so <laughs> he got like one rainy weather and one really sunny so <laughs> I don't know what is why is he complaining <laughs> <laughs> he's probably just having a uh, joking around with us. Um, so Alvar um, competed in his, his first year at Colorado, and originally it was thought that he only had one year of eligibility. Uh, the NCAA compliance yep. rules um, are, are kind of confusing, but um, just uh, just last week the NCAA ruled that, that you, Alvar, will get another season of eligibility. Uh, tell us what that means to you to get to come back and have another go with the Buffs. Uh, yeah, I'm actually very stoked to get back. It was a pretty fun year, and of course, the, like the first part is pretty hard to like to move to the US and like language and everything, and uh, like all the system was like different, and just to get the get to know everyone and like everything. So I guess the second year will be even more like even better, like skiing wise, academically, it should be easier, I guess. <laughs> And yeah, I just uh, hope to bring the title back to Boulder. <laughs> there you go. National championship. Well, great goal that, that we uh, shoot for every single year. Uh, tell us a little bit about the uh, process. Did you kind of fully comprehend what all went into uh, the NCA ruling? Uh, yeah, like last summer when I got the decision, I got only one year. It was three weeks before coming to US. So I, I actually had no idea what was the problem. So in April, uh, it was the end of April, I figured out uh, like what was the problem and we started to work on it because I actually went to military and uh, yeah, we got one more year because of the military thing. So it just uh, looked like all the papers all over again. And yeah, I'm pretty happy like compliance and all the stuff are supporting me and they got one more year for me. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the CU compliance staff did, did a great job. Uh, the NCA had some new legislation that came out that ruled upon that Alvar um, provided his military documentation that he did some official competitions while he was doing his military service. And that new ruling kind of changed the clock of, of when Alvar could then be um, – an eligible student athlete. So, and that, that rule is retro retroactive. So it goes back and Alvar was then granted the other year. Um, so again, just a, a big shout out to see you compliance. Um, Alvar, your, your, your first year here, you were a runner up um, at, at NCAAs in, in um, the uh, 20K freestyle race. Um, you had a bunch of top fives, a bunch of podium finishes. What did you learn about competing on the NCAA stage uh, this last year? Uh, like the biggest difference uh, in Europe, it's like all the races are at a uh, pretty high altitude. So you have to ski uh, pretty smartly there. Like uh, you can't start like just going out really hard. So you have to think a lot. And like, I guess like first races were pretty hard to just to get used to it. Mm -hmm. But the second part of the season was so much better. I actually like knew how, how fast should I start and what should I do and how can I last to like last meter? 
especially uh, NCA 10K race. <laughs> that was kind of set back there. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I felt like February and March, like the last few months, were pretty good. Like skiing. What um. Aside from helping the bus win the national championship, like like you just mentioned, what are maybe some of your personal goals uh, for this coming winter in Boulder? Uh, like you mean uh, races and uh, everything? Races, like skiing races school, uh, things you want to uh, just do around it uh, when you're back over here in America? Uh, yeah, academically, I have to still get at least 3.0 <laughs> GPA. <laughs> That's my goal. And uh, racing, uh, even more podiums and race wins. So uh, I guess it's pretty much the same like last year, like just uh, slightly better maybe. <laughs> Tell everybody what you're studying at, at CU. Uh, I don't have major yet. I have to figure it out. But uh, like there's lots of stuff to do in the summer since I didn't know like if I'm getting back or not. So I have to work on everything find all classes and uh, even uh, where, where should I stay next year? I don't have it <laughs> yet. So there's, yeah, lots of stuff to do. You got, yeah, you got your work cut out for you. Um, Alvar, tell us, um, what, are, what are some of your hobbies? What do you enjoy, enjoy doing in your free time? Uh, maybe when you're not uh, doing, maybe when you're not doing any skiing. Um, right now, every night it's uh, soccer, <laughs> watching with my friends. So, that's like pretty much every day right now since the games are like uh, four games every day. So lots of soccer right now. Uh, but yeah, just to hang out with my friends usually. And yeah, now I guess I have to study again <laughs> soon. Yeah, well, you'll hit the books. We're, we're, we have no doubt about that. Um, well, Alvar, we, we uh, thank you for your time. Uh, you, since you got a, uh, you said a time trial you and Sondre are doing tomorrow, we hope that you can go and, and get some rest and, and that you too have a, a good experience tomorrow with your race. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for going. <laughs> thank you. Take care, Alvar. We'll see you back in uh, Boulder. Yeah, see you in a few months. <laughs> Bye.